Hello everyone, my name is Xiao Wei Cai. I'm from Chinese Academy of Sciences and our work is about a new problem called pure mark set, which is a special case of mark set. And we show that it can be applied to solve uh, several combinatorial optimization problems. This is the outline of my talk. I will first introduce the background and then I will introduce our new problem called pure mark set. For this problem, we design a linear local search algorithm and then we show its experiment results. Let's start with the mark set problem. Mark set is a general model for formulating combinatorial optimization problems. Basically speaking, we have some Boolean variables x1, x2, xn, which can be assigned true or false, then a literal can be a variable or its negation. We express constraints with clauses. A clause is a disjunction of literals. And in the general form of max set, which is called partial max set, we have hard clauses and soft clauses. And the goal of the problem is to find an assignment that satisfies all hard clauses and to satisfy as many as possible soft clauses. And we can have the weighted version. As Maxa is very important and have many applications, many Maxa solvers have been developed. However, most of them are developed for general purpose. Seen from the literature, there are two popular approaches. One is the so-called set-based approach, which can be further divided into linear solvers and core guided solvers. The other approach is local search, which is an incomplete solver method. And this method has witnessed significant progress in recent years. In this work, we focus on a special case of Maxat. Indeed, a main motivation of our work is that we can design more efficient solvers for Maxev formulas with a special structure. We propose pure Maxev, which is a special case of Maxev, but can also characterize a wide range of combinatorial optimization problems. In its definition, a key concept is pure cross. A cross is pure if all its literals are of the same polarity, either positive or negative. And in pure Maxa problem, all crosses are pure crosses, and the polarity of hard crosses are the opposite to the polarity of soft crosses. Let's look at this small example. When we encode in max click into maxset, it happens to be a pure maxset formula. For this graph, we have four vertices, one, two, three, four, and which corresponds to four variables in maxset, x1, x2 to x4. And we have two hard clauses, and all literals are negative literals. For example, for this hard cross, it says that x one, uh, vertex 1 and vertex 2 cannot be selected in a click at the same time because they don't share uh, an edge. <clears throat> so look at this example. All hard crosses have the uh, negative literals and all soft crosses only have positive literals. So it is a pure max set problem. <clears throat> This is another example which comes from set cover. We can encode set cover problem into max set. Generally speaking, we are given a universal set. Uh, it's denoted as U here. And we also given a set of the, some subsets of this U. Then the set cover problem is to require as few as possible subsets from this S to cover all elements in the universal set. We can also model this problem into max set, and it happens to be pure max set as well. 
Now for this pure Maxa problem, we design a novel method which combines linear search and local search together. We know that this is the first time linear search has been used in local search. <coughs> and the main idea is we allow local search only to visit assignments which has lower cost than the best file solution. So in this way, whenever the algorithm finds a new feasible solution, we can guarantee that the solution is better than the best found solution. <coughs> and these are some important concepts in our linear local search algorithm. <coughs> we maintain two data structure. One contains the unsatisfied hard crosses under the current assignment, and the other contains the unsatisfied soft crosses under the current assignment. <coughs> And we have two cost functions. One for the cost on hard crosses and the other for the cost on soft crosses. This is the framework of local search. Um, in the beginning, we use an initialization procedure to generate our initial assignment, which is a complete assignment. And then we go into the local search part. This local search contains two phases. In the first phase, we flip some variables to decrease the cost on soft crosses. And then in the second part, in the second phase, we choose variables from unsatisfied hard crosses. But we control this procedure to guarantee that in the process of the whole algorithm, we maintain the cost on soft process cannot be greater than cost star, the best cost that we have met. So whenever we met a feasible solution, that is, all hard crosses have been satisfied, then we can be sure that this current assignment is better than alpha star. So we do the updatings. <coughs> In order to implement the algorithm, we need two scoring functions. One is the hard score to measure the change on the cost of hard crosses. And the other is the soft score to measure the change on soft cost. So an important fact is that hard score and soft score cannot be positive at the same time. Also, they cannot be negative at the same time. This is easy to see according to the feature of a pure max set. And we design a ratio score, which is defined as below. So in our algorithm, we use ratio score to pick variables. As for the in initialization part, we adopt a greedy algorithm. In the beginning, all variables are assigned to the polarity of the soft crosses. So in the beginning, all soft crosses are satisfied, while all hard crosses are unsatisfied. Then, in the following, in each iteration, we pick a random unsatisfied hard cross and to pick a variable gradually to satisfy this hard cross. This is executed until there is no more unsatisfied hard cross. In this way, we can generate a good initial solution. Besides this, we also have some techniques in our local search, including configuration tracking, which aims to handle the cycling issue in local search, and also variable neighborhood descents. This is also a common, common technique in local search. Now, this is a full description of our algorithm. Um, basically, uh, this is a two-phase local search. In the first phase, we pick some variables to decrease the soft cost. And then in the second phase, we try to satisfy hard cross, but to keep the cost as small as possible and not greater than the cost star. We also have some dynamic idea to change the parameter, but we will not have time to expand this in this, uh, in this talk. 
Anyone interested in these details can refer to our paper. For experiments, we test our solver on benchmarks from mark set evaluations, also from three uh, from benchmarks of three famous combinatorial optimization problems, including max click, vertex cover, and set cover. <clears throat> We compare our solver with state-of-the-art max solvers, including both state-based solvers and local search servers. And also for the each of the three problems that we encoded into pure max set, we also compare our solver with the specific state-of-the-art solver for each of the problem. Let's see the results. For max set benchmarks, um, we text all the benchmarks from the uh, recent three max evaluations, and we show that our method is obviously better than the state of the art max solvers on these benchmarks, including sets like Longer, OpenWBO, and RC2. These are representative state of the art max solvers. So we show that when we design uh, algorithm for pure max set. Even this problem is not complicated. Um, we can easily beat state of the art max solvers on these pure max benchmarks. And this is a summary on the score results as calculated in max set evaluations. So we can see that linear LS, our method, um, nearly always find a, a full score. <clears throat> so as for max click, we test our solver on four benchmarks, including Kinney Exchange, Research Excellence Network, and Dmax, and Error Correcting Codes benchmarks. We compare our algorithm with max click algorithms, including local search and exact solvers, and we also compare with set uh, max set solvers. The results are still very good showing that our solver um, wins all the instances, um, has, the, has the, the best winning instances number. As for minimum vertex cover problem, we compare with FastVC and its enhanced version FastVC2 plus P. Um, this fast VC2 plus P, according to the literature, is the most recent state of the art in solving large mean VC instances. So the results are still very encouraging and very good, showing that our method can be um, can reach and even push state of the art in solving the, these large mean vertex cover instances. <clears throat> Finally, we compare our solver with, vertex, uh, with set cover solvers. Um, this solver don't, uh, does not have a name, so we just list uh, the reference here. Our solver can be better than this set cover solver on the benchmarks. And at the same time, we compare with set lag and longer on set cover benchmarks and still much better. For other max set solvers, is um, essentially worse than the max set solvers here, so we don't report their results here. Okay, messages to take. Uh, the most important contribution of this work is that we introduce the pure max set problem. This is a special case of max set, but can model many combinatorial optimization problems, as we can see in the paper. And for this new problem, we propose the linear local search method to solve it. And our results show that this method can be much better than max set solvers and also much better than state of the art for each of the problem um, from, um, from metric Vertex cover and set cover. In the future, I think it is interesting to develop exact algorithms for pure max set. And also interesting is to uh, design 
inference rules and reduction rules for this new problem. So this is my talk. Thanks.